Hi, Caleb here. Part two of how I'm setting up a small pre-K through eight grade school on Google Apps for Education, the K-12 edition. This is part two. Part one is pictured here, which is on my blog. In part one, we started things off by going to where? Ooh, by going to the Google site and literally just getting apps for our school. I went through that in part one and now we're into part two. Because in part one we set up a standard Google account which is quite easy as long as we had control over the domain which meant we could talk to our webmaster and get a file put on a, on a server or at least ask someone what that meant and they could help us. Then we could get through setting up an initial account. The trick then was to move to being upgraded to an education account. An education account and this is a link on my blog for the integration plan for K-12. Highly recommended, one way or another, find this integration plan. It shows you how to apply right here, and this can be a little tricky, from your standard account, which took me 10 or 15 minutes to set up, to an education edition using this form. So, I applied. Now what happened when I applied is that Immediately, I was reviewed, and they needed some additional information. I'm showing you now an email I got right here uh, saying they needed additional information. So, whoa, look at those fragments. By the way, this cloud background here, I'm just messing with because Google's in the cloud, get it? And these are UFOs, little beings. So, oh, I can do this. This email I got said, we need to confirm your status as a qualified educational institution. Please send us this stuff. This was on May 12th. It is now June 3rd. And, ooh, ha. It's now June 3rd. Now, June, so actually I replied and said, thank you very much. This is exciting. Here's my information. Call me. Today at 9... 14 hours ago, they said, welcome to the education edition. We've reviewed your application and are excited to upgrade your account. So this is how it all works. Sure enough, I logged in to my, and you'll notice this is my login. I logged into my account. Voila, it is Notice the top there, the education edition, which is exciting because now if I go to, let's see, I'm going to take you through. i got users and groups. I can import a spreadsheet right here, or I can add users and really start to administer account. It's not that hard. I can go through my settings, and my advanced tools are what has now been enabled. These tools here are what uh, has been enabled by going to the Education Edition. A lot more support, um, uh, archiving, domain control. It's really very nice. And so now the key happens, which is training. So that's where we stand. Now I go about training neighborhood schoolhouse staff, early adopters first to start to use this for their email and personal uh, work collaboration. And then, if the students want accounts, they'll get them and they'll only be able to email the other teachers and not get email from the outside world, so it's safe. And slowly it should spread as people learn to use the tools. Uh, anyway, here we go. So uh, that's my journey and this is the end of part two. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions, and good luck out there if you're going into the clouds.